The Aeronautical Development Agency has said that once the Cabinet Committee on Security grants clearance to the AMCA program, the immediate step will be to start metal cutting of the first prototype, which will be rolled out in four years, and it will be followed by four more prototypes that will join the flight developmental program one year apart from the first flight of the first prototype. The Aeronautical Development Agency intends to develop a ground test specimen that will be used to carry out a slew of tests that aircraft must go through before their first flight. The first two prototypes will be used to carry out checks on the digital flight control computers, avionics and flight parameters at different altitudes, and other testing parameters of the internal weapons and serpentine air intake. The third and fourth prototypes will be used for testing out the weapons capabilities of the aircraft, along with certifying them for initial operational clearance in air-to-air -air mode and air-to-surface mode over the next few years. The fifth prototype will be the first pre-production aircraft that will have near-production ready capabilities, that will be tested by the Indian Air Force, before it is cleared for production in 2032. India is all set to place orders for two more Prale missile units with over 250 missiles at a cost of over 7,500 crores, and this will be in addition to the 120 missiles ordered for the first Prale missile unit in 2022. All the three Prale missile units with over 370 short-range tactical ballistic missiles will form the basis of India's upcoming rocket force. Work is also underway to increase the range of these missiles from existing 500 km to 800 km, that will give a stronger capability to forces. The Prale missile uses a quasi-ballistic trajectory, which makes it extremely difficult to intercept. Latest reports indicate that South Korea has started diplomatic maneuvering in New Delhi for its bid, where it has offered lithium-ion and fuel cell-based AIP system-powered DSME-3000 submarine to meet Indian Navy's submarine requirements. South Korea's Dew Wu shipbuilding is the sole bidder in Project 75I, that has agreed to all the liability clauses and transfer of technology demands made by the Indian Navy, and has also offered further customization of the submarine design, that will allow greater participation of the Indian Warship Design Bureau in the customization process, along with new features as demanded by the Indian Navy and there is a high possibility that South Korea will also send a formal proposal for a government-to-government -government deal. Airbus Defence has released a video of India's first C-295 tactical transport getting unique grey Indian Air Force livery, at an assembly at Airbus Defence and Spaces facility near Seville in Spain. The aircraft will soon conduct its first flight, and this first aircraft will be delivered to Indian Air Force in September 2023, and 16 aircraft will be delivered by August 2025. The first made in India C-295 aircraft will be rolled out of the Tartu Airbus manufacturing facility in Gujarat in September 2026, and the remaining 39 aircraft will be produced by August 2031. After a brief halt in Egypt, the Indian Air Force contingent has reached the Mont de Marsan Air Base in France, to conduct a multi-nation air combat exercise Orion from tomorrow, under which it will engage in realistic combat scenarios with participating the air forces of France, Germany, Greece, Italy, Netherlands, United Kingdom, Spain and United States.